The Galaxy Z Fold 6 offers impressive AI features in a lighter, thinner design along with durability improvements. I also like the slightly wider front display, which is easier to use than past folds. Based on my testing, this is the most well-rounded foldable phone around. But the $100 price hike doesn't help, and the cameras are not flagship level. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 starts at US$1899, which is $100 more than the equivalent Galaxy Z Fold 5. Prices rise to US$2019 for 512GB storage and US$2259 for 1TB storage. All three variants come with 12GB of RAM. To get the most savings, see our roundup of the best Galaxy Z Fold 6 deals. Color options available this year include silver shadow, pink, and navy. Craft black and purity white will be available exclusively from Samsung.com. It might not seem like a big deal but the Galaxy Z Fold 6's weight is now just like a regular flagship. At 8.43 ounces, the Z Fold 6 is about the same weight as the iPhone 14 Pro Max which I use as my daily phone. Yes, the titanium-based iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S24 Ultra are even lighter, but I can comfortably carry this foldable in my pocket. The OnePlus Open is a bit heavier and the Pixel Fold weighs at a whooping 10 ounce. It also helps the Samsung has shaved off some of the thickness. When closed, the Z Fold 6 is 0.48 inches down from 0.53 inches on the Fold 5. The flat edge design is a bit too sharp in the corners as it can dig into your hand, but overall, the Fold 6 design is refined and improved. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 has a slightly bigger 6.3 inch cover display making it a bit easier to use when typing with two hands and less claustrophobic even though the oneplus open and pixel fold external displays are wider i like the more compact pocket friendly design on the samsung another plus is that the z fold 6's main 7.6 inch display has less of a crease than the z fold 5 thanks to enhanced layers and it can get super bright with a rated peak brightness of 2600 peak we saw only 2300 nits in our lab testing but that still blows away the z fold 5's 1500 nits under the same conditions whether you are working on spreadsheets, toggling between tabs in Chrome or watching a movie on Netflix, you will enjoy a vibrant and a colorful picture. In our testing, we saw the Z Fold 6 hit 96.9% of the DCI-P3 color space compared to 90% for the Pixel Fold, and the OnePlus Open reached an even higher 120%. There is a ton of Samsung Galaxy AI features packed into the Galaxy Z Fold 6 along with Google Gemini. Here is just some of the coolest things you can do. The biggest head turner is sketch to image. In the Samsung Notes app, you can sketch anything and generative AI will turn it into a watercolor, illustration, sketch, pop art or 3D cartoon. It takes a few seconds but the results are pretty freaking impressive. The illustration of a dog turned into a professional looking watercolor in less than 30 seconds. In addition, you can also use Galaxy AI to transform photos with Portrait Studio turning yourself into everything from a comic to a 3D cartoon. It's like the Pixar or Incredibles version of you too, some of the renderings are less than flattering. On the productivity side, Note Assist comes in handy because it can transcribe the and summarize meeting notes for you. I used this feature on a call with my colleague Mike Prospero and it gave a comprehensive but easy to understand summary. So it took a while to transcribe the 40 minute meeting. Google Meet can transcribe as you go in real time. Google Gemini can be always at the ready with a simple swipe up from the corner, ready to do everything from answering questions and coming up with ideas for your next vacation. It can help with homework too. I took a photo of an algebra problem and Gemini came back with step-by-step -step directions and Gemini can help answer questions about what you were watching, such as on YouTube. It even answered follow-up questions about Cap in America Brave New World without me having to give any context. 
Last but not least, the interpreter app on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 lets you translate conversations in real time and leverages both the main and cover display so both you and the person you are speaking with can see what's being said. I tested this feature with a colleague who spoke Arabic and I asked him what the thought of the Z Fold 6. Despite a bit of a delay, the conversation flowed smoothly with the audio and text. This could be a game changer for travel, especially because the interpreter app can work offline. As you'd expect, from a flagship with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip and 12GB of RAM, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has plenty of oomph for running apps side by side as well as intense gaming and you should be able to get better sustained performance because of the phone's larger backup chamber. On the Geekbench 6, which measures overall performance, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 cleared 6900 on multi-core and 2170 on single-core. That's more than double the Tensor G2-powered Pixel Fold and will ahead of the OnePlus Open. So, we expect faster sequels to these foldables with newer silicone. On our Adobe Premiere Rush test for transcoding 4K video to 1080p, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 needed about 40 seconds compared to a minute or longer for the competition. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 3D Mark graphics results are also better than the OnePlus on the solar bay ray tracing test with a frame rate of 29 FPS versus 20 FPS. I enjoyed smooth gameplay on the frenetic Diablo Immortal. Even with a ton of enemies on screen, the action stayed steady as I unleashed my blades and special attacks on bosses, owls, and spiders. One of the key reasons why people don't buy foldable phones other than the price is that there is a perception that they are just too brittle. To answer the call, Samsung has done a couple of things to put your mind at ease. First, the Z Fold 6's glass layer are now more durable than before, making them less susceptible to damage from your finger pokes and especially as pen use. Second, the dual rail hinge is supported by a strengthened folding edge. This should better distribute shock. Too, I am not about to drop test my loaner unit. However, the Z Fold 6 is still less durable than a traditional flagship. It has an IP48 rating against 5 feet of fresh water for up to 30 minutes. This rating means the Z Fold 6 can keep out particles larger than 1 mm, but it does not mean you get full dust resistance. So I would hesitate to take this phone to the beach. With the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip on board, we were hoping for the expecting an endurance boost from the Z Fold 6. But we didn't see a great result in our battery test, which involves the continuous wave surfing over a 5G connection with 150 nits of screen brightness. The Z Fold 6's 4400 mAh battery lasted as high as 11 hours and 13 minutes, which is solid but only a few minutes better than last year. In fact, over 4 rounds of our test, the Z Fold 6 averaged 10 hour and 35 minute. The devices on our best phone battery life list, like the S24 Ultra, last at least 14 hours. To be fair, there is much bigger 7.6 inch display here, but even then the OnePlus Open's bigger 4805 mAh battery lasted a bit longer than Samsung at 11 hour and 31 minute. The camera hardware is largely unchanged on the Galaxy Z Fold 6, with the exception of a new sensor for the 12MP ultra-wide camera that's designed to let in more light. Otherwise, you get the same 50MP main camera and 10MP telephoto with 3x optical zoom and 30x digital zoom that graced the Z Fold 5. Up front, you get the same 10MP selfie camera and 4MP under display camera for when you are using the main screen. Don't get me wrong, the image quality is quite as strong from the Z Fold 6, but if you are paying this much money, you should get the same 200MP sensor as the Galaxy S24 Ultra. In this portrait comparison with the OnePlus Open, the Z Fold 6 produces a much crisper portrait. The OnePlus blows out the right side of my face in the sun and delivers less detail in my shower.
Here you can see some camera details from the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Maybe Samsung's thinking is that the its largest foldable already cost 1800 US dollars so what's $100 more but I still don't like the fact that Samsung has hiked the price for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. For that cost you get 256 GB of storage and it's another 120 bucks to get 512 GB and 360 bucks to get one terabyte. Samsung could sweeten the deal by including the S Pen case for 79 US dollar, especially since sketch to image is such a key AI feature. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 supports the same 25 watt charging as the last couple Galaxy Fold models, and it's getting a bit annoying when there is a better charging technology out there. The Fold reached 28% after 15 minutes of charging and 56% in 30 minutes, which isn't terrible, but the OnePlus Open 67 watt charging goes to 50% in 15 minutes and 85% in 30 minutes. Even though we are on the 6th gen of Samsung's foldable, the overall market is still super small, making up just 1.5% of phones sold. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 change people's minds? If you are someone who loves the idea of having a huge screen on the go along with lots of AI features, this could be the flagship for you. I like the lighter weight, slightly bigger front display and strong Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performance and the AI features can come in handy helping you be more productive and have more fun. But the 1900 US dollar is pretty tough to sell when Samsung hasn't made that many changes in terms of that hardware. The OnePlus Open's camera performance isn't quite as strong and it's heavier device but it's pushing the envelope a bit more with its multitasking software and faster charging and you get a wider front screen for $200 less. Others may want to wait to see what the new Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold has in store. For now, I would say the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is the most well-rounded foldable phone for me, but it is still very much a niche device for power users. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.